Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will be talking about topics and we'll also talk about the evolution of Samsung moving forward, especially from Samsung One UI 8 to Samsung One UI 8.5. Now, if you've never seen this screen before, that's okay. A lot of us haven't even seen this area or this display before. Now, where you can find this, and it's a way that you're able to figure out an answer based off of a topic. Or if you're just trying to enhance your device, you can do it via each different type of topic. So if you're trying to figure out what you can do for your phone with sound, but you don't really know where all of the settings are, this screen will help you. All you do is head right inside of your settings. Now, with inside of settings, you can see that there really is no search bar. You have a search icon on the top right, but it could be a little uh, forgotten. When you tap on this, this is the screen that it comes to, and then you're able to just search for something immediately because this kind of pops up, and if you're looking for something, you can. And you might even see some of the other recent searches that you have done. But if you've never just brought this thing down and then taken a look at all these topics down here, you might be missing out. And also what you'll notice is we are within settings, but we have our search bar on the bottom. I believe this is what we are going to evolve into with Samsung One UI 8.5. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about 8.5 just because it's not out yet and it's probably going to be released for the Galaxy S26 devices and we just are now launching One UI 8. But when you go inside of settings, that little search thing that you saw on the bottom, I feel it's going to come right on this display here. So this way you'd be able to actually search through your settings and actually make changes to your device. A lot of people might not customize their phone or make a bunch of changes because they don't really know what to do. They look at this entire list and they don't really know where to start. Now, if they had a search you know, bar on the bottom, that is one easier way to start rather than going to the very top of your device with your thumb. So bringing this little search bar is gonna help out. And then down here is where you have all of those different topics that you can at least start your little navigation around your phone and learning everything that you can do. Now, before we take a look at some of these topics, let me explain to you how I know that this is gonna help a ton just inside of the settings screen, which is right here, because it's just now gone. It feels like something is missing. The search should be on the bottom. And one area that you can definitely tell the difference is right here in your application tray. Now, the application tray has the search on the very bottom, making it super easy to find something. And then you have additional settings over here where you can you know, sort it and then you have your settings. But if you have a bar on the bottom, it just makes it very easy because it's reachable with the thumb. You're able to find something really quick rather than going through this entire list. So that is why I think with One UI 8.5, we'll see a little search bar that'll be on the very bottom. Again, allowing everybody to hopefully venture out and customize their phones and make some changes. Now let's take a look at this display. You can see this in Samsung One UI 7 and One UI 8. Now you can see what is popular with your device. Now, if I was to pull out a Galaxy S24 Ultra, this entire list will be different than what I see here. Now, if you take a look at this list on another phone, you know, maybe an A phone, or if you have a, the Galaxy S24 series, this list will be different than what you see here. This is just based off of my device here. Now, if you wanna see what is popular, maybe you don't really know what to look for. Well, this display setting right here between light and dark, that one is popular. Same thing with motion smoothness. Then you also have notifications for lock screen. And maybe these are, these are things that you might not even think about when it comes down to customizing your phone. But when you tap on one of these, it will highlight it. You'll see that it just highlighted right there. And then you're able to go through and make some of these additional changes. Again, if you don't know where to start, this is a perfect place to go. The lock screen and always on display. So it's gonna take you over to the always on display stuff. Again, lighting it up. So then you can go through and turn on some of these settings. I like to have mine turned off. Uh, and then you also have your advanced features, which is labs. Sometimes some people are trying to figure out which advanced features to use, uh, but they might not know that there is labs where there is additional things that you can do, you know, for multi-window and the, the back swipe preview. And so for that back swipe preview, as you are swiping back, you're getting a preview of the next screen that you are going to. Again, it's gonna take us right back over here of what was popular. Then you have your battery, your Samsung keyboard and Samsung notes settings. And inside of here, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do. You can convert your old notes. You can also open up your notes with your password or biometrics and, and then a few additional things. Now going back to the last screen rather than just popular, so you'll have security. You'll have everything for data backup. Something is wrong. Galaxy AI, night, performance, notifications, battery, the S Pen, personalization, loss prevention, music, popular, privacy, etiquette, emergency, what's new, and eye comfort. 
So let's say we want to take a look at music. You know, what are they showing for music? So you have eight different suggestions. There's also one of them for connections, which is music share. When inside of Dolby Atmos, this is where you can turn on your equalizer for dynamic. I know some people just keep it as balanced and it, this makes a huge difference, not only when you're listening to your phone, just the phone speakers, but also through Bluetooth. Turn on dynamic, it's gonna make a massive difference. And you can also turn on your Dolby Atmos there on the very top. Now, moving on back, let's say that there's something wrong with your phone. Okay, if something's wrong, what's some of the stuff that you can do? Well, you can go inside of your auto optimization. You can turn this thing on, so at least your phone can restart once or twice a week. They highlight it right there for auto optimization, so get this thing going. Also, for diagnostics, then you also have memory. And for diagnostics, you go right down over here, and again, it'll highlight it, letting you know what, you're, you know, what it's trying to show off. You can go and check out your phone. So now you can just test them all. So continue the test. So you're gonna test you know, your NFC, you're gonna test Bluetooth, you're gonna test your SIM, the power restart. If you just feel like maybe that there could be something wrong with your device, you can just go through this full entire list. It's gonna go through and test 23 different things. Also what you can test is anything that is connected via Bluetooth. So if you are connected to your watch, you can go through this test for your watch and it's just the area for your connected devices. The sensors take a while because there's a lot of sensors in your phone, the gyroscopes and everything else. It's going to test your front facing camera, rear facing camera. It's going to have the permissions. It's going to, you know, open it up, making sure everything is all looking good and, and testing it. So I'm going to, I am going to back out of this just because there's a lot more things I want to take a look at. So you can go through and see everything that they are testing when it comes down to your phone. When it comes down to loss prevention, uh, screen lock settings, screen lock and biometrics, and also theft protection. So if you want to make sure that you're good for anything loss prevention, here are your three different settings to take a look at. If you'd like to improve the performance of your phone, you'll go inside of this section here and there are six different suggestions going from the auto optimization, making sure your memory is looking good, performance profile, storage, motion smoothness, and screen resolution. And then also all this stuff here for your battery. If you'd like to improve your battery life, take a look at your battery information, show the battery percentage, anything dealing with batteries right here. And there is six different suggestions. So I'm not going to go through this full entire list. I think you kind of get the point. So that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video, which is showing off these topics, but also seeing the evolution of Samsung, where I think in Samsung One UI 8.5, this little search bar will also show up just in the normal settings uh, screen right here, rather than this little icon. So this video is to kind of help you out that you're able to tackle any type of topic, any type of situation on your phone, just by going inside of your settings. And if you don't know where to go, just hit on the search and either maybe you don't know what to search for, just scroll down and you'll see these different topics. And more than likely what you are thinking of what you were trying to look for, the answer is just right here. Is it dealing with privacy? Is it dealing with your battery or uh, you know loss prevention? Uh, you know, emergency stuff, your, your S Pen. So really, when it comes down to it, this is super helpful for anybody who don't really know where to start, who don't know what to really look for, or they just want to take a look at each topic and take a look and make sure they have everything turned on their phone. Because again, not everybody customizes or goes through all the settings of their phone. So this is just ending of the video. I think that this screen here is going to give us a little bit of details of hopefully what we might be able to see inside the settings screen. Either we're going to see something very default and similar to this, something very similar on the settings screen, which is right here, you know, hopefully on the bottom, or we might see something more advanced, which my guess is more advanced. We'll probably see something like this. So you can either search for it by text or by voice. And then this right here will hopefully be embedded into just the regular settings screen rather than just this one right here. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys have appreciated it. Hopefully you have learned something. Hopefully you'll take a look at this section right here inside of topics and see what is popular on your phone. See if you've made all of these changes. See what different categories you might want to make some changes on. But if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe at the very bottom left hand side. If you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.